Hi, I'm going to talk through with you um, parents, guardians, resources that you can get for your uh, offspring right now to help them with um, out of school home learning and also um, prepare them for, ahead for examinations. Um, so my favourite book company, as you can see, is CGP Books and uh, this is only a fraction of all the books that I've bought from them over the years. Uh, I have a whole variety more down here on my bookshelf uh, and in my cupboard as well. Uh, all the different versions over the last 10 years. Now, the um, reason why I think these are good investments is because, number one, uh, most students don't actually have a good set of notes to work from, especially for sciences and maths because you know they're just so difficult as, as subjects. So um, it's definitely worth thinking about investing in some books um, and it doesn't actually matter what age they are either because a lot of the stuff that are in these books um, I find are actually covered uh, in schools uh, in the syllabus um, all the way through from you know sort of KS2, KS3 level all the way up to uh, GCSE and IGCSE so um, and, and the reason I can say that with good authority is because as you can see I've tutored a huge amount of different syllabi over the years both mostly higher level in fact or you know a few a few sort of low foundation levels but most of the time when I'm tutoring my students I get them up to higher level um, and so uh, you know OCR, Edexcel, AQA, WJEC, CIE, uh, also international ones as well um, there's a few like uh, international baccalaureate up here etc um, and uh, you know, from that, um, you can actually use these books to help students prepare with a good set of notes, a better set of notes than they usually have. Uh, but also, they act as revision guides to kind of do summary key topics and things. Um, now, the thing that I love about CGP books is that they, and, and I don't get any backhanders, by the way. Uh, I, I haven't monetized my uh, my YouTube channel or anything like that. This is just my own um, experiences. Um but they, they're affordable as well. Um, so I think the, the uh, if we go along with this sort of GCSE revision guides like this for chemistry, uh, this one is just like a general one which kind of tutors use, uh, but they also do uh, ones for like, for example, the Edexcel syllabus. So I recommend you get the ones that the syllabus the students is following. However, Getting that information is kind of can be a bit tricky because believe it or not, sometimes when even parents ask schools, they get told the wrong one, or sometimes schools change them. Um, so it's a good idea to kind of check on the school website or Facebook page if they post them up which examples they're doing. Um, and uh, generally, the revision guides are aimed at uh, all levels, but not necessarily. For example, the maths one here is at the foundation level. Um, so you need to look at that as well. Is it foundation or higher that they're sitting? The problem you have at the minute is you probably want your kids to sit at a higher one. Uh, but you've got to be careful because the grades, the new grading system that's employed at GCC, etc. Um, there's an overlap about where they could potentially actually fail it if they put in for too high a level. However, I do believe in pushing students and developing them. So for that reason, I still am enthused to uh, treat my students to higher levels whenever I possibly can, okay? But th there are some exceptions, okay? So um, having to think about that is also important. And obviously, you know, if at this point of the year you're thinking, should or should it be entered for higher or lower? I would say to you to get the higher level books with the idea that you're gonna, you know, help encourage them to do well for themselves. Um, ultimately, the decisions will start to be made by the schools nearer the time, and then you can kind of, you know, decide whether with the school whether you should go in for higher or foundation level. Um, now there is revision guides. Uh, it's been a little while since I bought some, but these are like five pound ninety five. I think you might pay six ninety five or something like that for them now. Quite, quite a, relatively affordable. Of course, if you've got multiple offspring, you can reuse them. The uh, these ones um, have been designed for the new 
grade 9 to 1 course. Uh, I don't believe you can get the old syllabi still. So be looking for this uh, on the website if you buy them. And the website <clears throat> is cgpbooks.co.uk. Okay, uh, so that's cgpbooks.co.uk. Now, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on lots of places. Uh, Foles Bookstore in London is another one. I prefer to order these from CGP Books Direct because they're a fantastic company. They're based up in Cumbria. They ship within 24 hours to you, although COVID shipping might be slightly different now. I think you only pay a nominal amount like um, £2.50, £3.50 or something to, to have them shipped. And also, if you order uh, a number uh, for your GCCs, you actually get a really good discount. Uh, it's quite a substantial discount as well. Um, I think a full set, you know, depending on the number of GCCs that your kids are sitting, you know, you're not going to be paying much more than £50 out for the whole lot, possibly a fair bit less, depending on the number of GCSEs and discount that you get. Um, the other thing you need to get, in addition to the revision guides, because they've got the good summary of notes in them, for maths, um, they need a good exercise book. This exercise book is the best one, and I use it for all my students um, through from sort of KS2, KS3 level, all the way up to GCSE. I recommend the, getting the higher level one. Um, if, and, and this and this is a bit of a tricky bit, this, should you get the ones that are lower? There are some lower ones for key stage, stage three. There's actually three full books. I can't remember how much I pay for these. These were 10 pounds each. This one is 20 pounds. Um, I have to say, the only way to really effectively revise maths is lots and lots of practice. So I, I totally recommend this getting one. You can actually use it for IGCSE too. If, if you if you uh, um, are doing an IGCSE, a lot of the private schools and international schools do IGCSE. Um, what those what that math book doesn't cover is basic stuff like, in in my opinion, in enough detail is the all the kind of core foundation stuff of decimals, fractions, and percentages which cause enormous problems with students. So, um, for those, I recommend getting some of these books, but there are three separate books. So, uh, perhaps if you need some advice on that, you can kind of message me um, and ask me, um, and I can maybe give you some advice, um, sort of one-to-one. -one. Um, let's have a look what else there is. Um, yeah, let's go on to the A-levels. The A-levels, we've got... AS level books like this one, this is for maths. Um, I would say to you uh, at the moment, don't get the AS levels unless you're only intending to sit in AS level. Instead, get. Oh, that's not going to come down, crashing down on my head <laughs> nearly. Um, instead, get the full A level book uh, for the subject. And the exam board okay and they've got complete revision and practice now i know cgp will not like me saying this i'm not a big fan of the practice questions in these books unless they are genuine um genuine examination questions uh i've seen a mixture over the years on and off so they're helpful but they're not a replacement for examination past papers um, I'm going to do another video about examination past papers because it's a whole new world of its own. Um, for today, I just wanted to kind of give you key academic resources. I say academic, I mean academic for science and maths uh, lessons um, and making sure that, you know, your kids have got something in front of them that represents their syllabi and their syllabus um, because, you know, unfortunately, this year's cohort of students are going to be far worse off than last year's because at least when we had lockdown last year, students were at the end of their syllabus or had finished their syllabus um, or near the end of it. And um, and therefore, you know, it was more a disruption prior to what would have been examinations. Um, that kind of brings me on uh, uh, to... Um, oh, yes, one, one minute. One, one other thing. Uh, I would like all the students that are doing... A level chemistry, I would like you to get. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to lift this up. Um, I'll put it on here. This calculations book, okay? Um, 
It's called Calculations in AS Stroke A Level Chemistry by Jim Clark. There is another one, which is this one, okay? If you've got this one or you've got it access to it from the library, but I think the libraries are closed at the minute, fine, just, just use it. But I like this one because it's a bit like um, it's a bit like the, the CGP one, maths book. What I love about these calculations book is they start you with simple calculations and exercises and they build you up. And that's what we need. That's how we need to teach maths in science uh, and, and maths for, for maths as well. Uh, so um, this one is... This one you can't get from CGP. So this one, you, uh, I got this one from Phil's Bookstore in London. So that's F-O-Y-L-E-S. You can get it from there. You can probably order it from Waterstones and Blackwells, places like that as well. Uh, I paid, back in 2015, I paid about £23 for this. It's probably be, well, £25, £27 now. Um, it's got a whole uh, plethora of calculations, but also lots and lots of worked examples. Um, all the way through it, which you, you will, will help you get there. Um, okay, the one thing I don't think you should buy um, from anywhere are exam papers. Exam papers, the best ones you can get, are on the website of the exam boards that the student is sitting. Um, and we'll come on to that, so you know, uh, keep, a, keep an eye out if you subscribe to my channel, and I will show you where to download those papers from um, and how to print them out to save yourself ink um, and paper cost which we all need to do right now um, and so you can kind of get your kids prepared in case and there probably will be some u-turns you know there's mention at the minute of doing exams still and i the most important thing is to keep students going because they are they they don't want to have the um the gaps at a level and beyond they want to be able to be able to transist nice and smooth um, with all this disruption that we've had and possibly future disruption in a good way. You know, they're, they're there to learn, right? More than anything, grades come second. The grades are important, but they come second. Um, so making sure that we can keep that learning on track and keeping them focused on the task at hand because, you know, we're going to need them to um, help get this country back on track after this, okay? Thanks for watching and uh, next video uh, for parents is going to be about exam papers. See you there.